What's up everybody and welcome to the vlog. I have already stopped at the barn, did my chores and everything. I'm trying to hurry up and get to the farm. It was supposed to rain today, but it didn't at all. Not complaining, but you know, just in case I got a little bit of bad luck, I'm gonna hurry up, get to the farm and get done what I need done that I didn't want to do in the rain. You feel me? Hey, go into the Z71 and pick out the, well not pick out, good Lord. I can't even talk again. Go into my fencing box in the Z71 and get the fencing nails, please. Thank you. I gotta get this done. It's getting close to winter. And I know some of y'all are like, wait a second, it's it's you know, it's July. Well, me as a farmer, before I know it, it's going to be winter. And I need these birds in this brood house laying on some eggs. We're running low on the freezer. Of course, it happens every year, but we do just fine. But what I'm trying to eliminate uh, eliminate is me going to the grocery store. To, Chancho! I don't understand how you're quiet the entire time until I pull out a camera. Well, good job. Keep on working on it. By the way, a subscriber said that you needed some oil. Yeah, I think you do. I think he's right. Okay, got the helpers. Here we go. Guess what? You ready to catch some chickens? Guess what? What? Oh, he is in pull up. We've been potty training. Hey, hey, hey. I'm vlogging. No, don't throw it. Don't do it. Man, you listen so good. You're just a, such a good kid. Anyways, we're potty training Bo. Yeah, that's been fun. But he is in a pull up today. Has he ruined the pull up? Not at all. All right, so y'all ready to go to work, catch some chickens, get these two birds in here, start laying on some eggs so we can get some chicks, so we can raise them up and get some meat in our freezer. Can I catch turkey? You can catch turkey all you want. Um, first, bud, I need you. Hey, hey, no. Are... Really? That... <laughs> Did you see that? It was a split millisecond a car drives by blasting music and bobo started dancing all right so hey we need something we need we, we need to get a game plan because the sun's going down fast and we got to get this done you you're going to be my handyman side monkey gerbil thing whatever it is <laughs> all right so i mean both y'all are going to help me catch them okay but i need you sir to take the feed bucket hey Take the feed bucket and fill it up with feed so we can be able to catch them. Okay. All right. We seriously got to hurry up and get this done. That sun is going down fast. It's going down fast. We got to just stay up. Hey. Hey. You got your weapon against Choncho? Yeah. Oh, you're going to get Choncho, huh? Don't get the other chickens. The other chickens don't do anything to you. You need just... You know, just keep an eye for Chancho. Calm down there, son. Chancho, I'm not kidding, is actually a very aggressive bird towards everybody else in the family but me. Oh, uh, you're gonna need way more than that, son. That's five gallons. Well, whatever wears off that cornbread. All right, I'm, what I'm basically doing is I'm just gonna wire up the front. I got nails bent over and I just gotta turn off the, uh, turn off. All I basically gotta do is just turn the nails and I have like a little makeshift wire door but we got to cover up that spot right there and this spot right here it's gonna look a little janky the birds are on the feed we need to go ahead and get the birds you get choncho I ain't getting choncho I, we don't need choncho we just need the two black birds me and Leo get the two black birds you keep us from choncho oh I didn't think about that oh this is gonna be okay how about this hey Hey, hey, you with that is not helping. You done scared the two black birds away. Stop. Yeah. No, baby. stop it. I did it. No, what you need to do is stop. You scared the two black birds away. Stop. No. You want to go inside? Oh, give me it. Give me it. Let go. No, no. Because you're being mean. You don't need to be mean. Chancho didn't even do anything yet. All right, now we 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 seriously gotta like act like nothing's going on and you know mix the feet up and wait for the two black birds. Hey, well, be easier. It's just wait for them to roost and then we just go in there and grab them. But we have one little problem. 
No, not Choncho. The two freaking wasp nests in there. Yeah, so go ahead, get the horn spray while the ch uh, chickens are not in there. Or go ahead, grab her if you think you could grab her. You stay. Stay. Good doggy. Dude, good doggy. Yeah, yep, that, good job, good job. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. Let me see it. All right, let's see if we can get these guys. Now we really got, hey, we got, we got to rush and get in there and try to wipe down their roost because this is probably not good for them at all. Well, so far that worked. I really don't like the fact that the chemical got all over the roost of the chicken coop. Is there any more? Dude, there's a bunch of, oh, there's another one right there. Oh, I need to hurry up and clean up this chicken coop. Just, y'all just, just hurry up and go, please, so we could get this done. I'm telling y'all, oh, oh, stay off, please. Stay, oh, oh, stay off. Get off! Get off of me! Huh. <laughs> Golly, I've never lived in a place that have so many wasps and hornets, ever. I'd feel better if it was bees. Yeah, well, they're they're kind of mad. Hey, I tell you what, just stay away from the chicken coop. Come on, Bubba, stay away from the chicken coop because they're probably mad, even though they can't do anything right now. We'll wait a second and then we'll try to work on catching the chickens. You know, it honestly sucks having to spray the hornets like that because they actually do help with pollination. Well, the wasps do. I don't know about the hornets, but I am surprised that these past couple weeks none of us have gotten lit up by these guys because i mean we come in here every day to collect eggs and for so i mean you know we just look at the nest boxes we look at the bedding we know okay we gotta clean out the coop but we don't really like inspect the coop or anything i'm surprised i mean this one that's right over your head when you come in as soon as you come in there goes the nest boxes right there as soon as you come in i'm sorry guys but gotta do what you gotta do I got one of the Sussex in the coop right now. Got one. 45 minutes later, the other Sussex is in the coop. And she's the smartest one. <laughs> Mission accomplished. So now we got both the birds in here that we need in here that have a tendency of getting really broody and they do a really good job at it. They are the ones, one of them were the ones that hatched our first chick. Got nice soft bedding in there. We got nice fresh nest boxes. And later on this evening, while they acclimate to their new roost, we'll go ahead and throw in their feet and water. <laughs> hey, 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 calm down, Chacho! Golly. Well, guys, that is pretty much all the work we are going to get done today. It's okay. Wasn't much, but we at least got our two broody hens in the brood house. And here in a couple days, we'll go ahead and put some golf balls in their nest boxes once they show signs of uh, not really being stressed out. I guess how you would put it but once they start sitting on them golf balls for long periods of time we'll go ahead and put or sneak in some nice furl eggs and you know hopefully once they start sitting on them you know we get some nice naturally raised chicks uh, but Chelsea and I are thinking and we at first said no to this we were like hey we need to get this but then we're like no we should do it this way and then now we're both thinking it'll be smart for us to um, get an incubator. 
you know, something like a, a, a good, a decent sized incubator to where we could throw the eggs in there and, you know, replenish our freezer that way. Instead of having an overabundance of chickens, like ordering 100 chickens at a time like we did last year, we can do 20 at a time or six at a time. We can go buy what we're eating, basically. But yeah, we're thinking about doing that and it also be very kind of really good educational thing for the kids you know showing them the natural way and then showing them the way how some a lot of our farmers in the world help feed us so you know it'd be a good experience well guys thank you for watching the vlog i will see y'all tomorrow